Hey guys, and welcome to the latest episode of the PlayStation 3 News. I hope you enjoyed the new intro there. I kind of had to do it because I've got nothing but complaints about the other intro being too long. 50 seconds, is that really so bad, guys? Secondly is YouTube. You can skip the intro if you want. Anyway, you got your wish. Starting off here, Toy Story 3, the video game, has gotten a release date. It'll be coming out June 15th in the U.S. and July 16th, over a month later, in the U.K., and also, Rockstar has said that they plan on doing more downloadable content for Red Dead Redemption in the future. So, more reasons to keep playing that game. And also, Test Drive Unlimited 2 has gotten a release date. It will be coming out September 21st in North America. Well, that's the only release date I got so far, is just for North America. And also, there's a rumor going around. As we know, uh... Uh, well, all right, let me just get to it. The rumor is that basically the Team Eco Collection will be coming to the PS3 the first quarter next year. Now, what the Team Eco Collection would be is the game Eco and Shadow of the Colossus brought to the PS3 the similar ways that the God of War Collection was brought with two to four times anti-aliasing, uh, being in HD and at 60 frames a second. I would love for that to happen because I would love to play Shadow of the Colossus that was one of the games that I regret not playing back on my PS2. Um, and having it redone with anti-aliasing and HD and 60 frames a second would be amazing. love to have that done. Uh, and also, Front Mission Evolved has gotten a release date. Originally slated, uh, well, expected to be coming out in uh, summer. But is now saying they have now stated that it won't be coming out till September 14th in North America. And also, probably the biggest news that happened in Rock the Gaming World this past week, uh, was that Insomniac has announced that they have come to a partnership with EA, a publishing agreement, and they are going multi-platform. The guys responsible for Ratchet and Clank series and Resistance are apparently got a publishing deal with EA to go multi-platform. They are making a multi-platform game, their first one on a 360. Now, before you freak out and everyone worries about this, you know, uh, Ted Price, the president of Insomniac, has stated that he ha uh, they have had an amazing relationship with Sony, a very good and close relationship with Sony, and he plans on keeping that close relationship relationship with Sony. And basically, what that means is that uh, he's going to keep or Insomniac, the uh, developer, is going to keep doing Ratchet and Clank series and the Resistance series for the PS3 and only for the PS3. So don't be thinking that Ratchet and Clank and Resistance is going to be coming to 360. It's not. They said that they're going to keep Ratchet and Clank and Resistance exclusive for the PS3, and they're still going to be making exclusive games for the PS3. It's just they're also going to be working on games that are multi-platform. From a business perspective, that's a really great idea. So I mean, you know, I mean, well, take it how you want it. And also, PlayStation Blog has gotten a video, video interview with Guerrilla uh, Games on Killzone 3. And in the background there, you can check out some gameplay of it too. You can see it in the background. And basically what they stated was that it's going to be a lot bigger, both the level size, the size of the game, everything is going to be a lot bigger. And the key word that he says that's the main difference between Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 is variety. He says it's going to be a lot more variety in Killzone 3. And on top of that, enemies will have jetpacks and you will have a jetpack. And you will also have a whole new melee system, which you can get a little bit of taste of that in the video there. It looked pretty awesome. Yeah, you would actually stab the Hellgas right in the eye. Pretty sweet. <laughs> and also, he, he stated um, that Killzone 3 will have a lot less swearing in it than Killzone 2. He, I guess they felt that Killzone 2 had too much explicit language in it. So he says Killzone 3 will tone down a lot of that language. Doesn't matter to me. And the last bit of news here is that uh, From Software, the guys who did Demon Souls, as you know, that was a very popular game. It sold very well, and everyone really loved it. And normally when that happens, when it sells very well and a lot of people love it, normally sequels start coming out. You know, you take advantage of that. Well, they uh, From Software is planning that they are not planning on Demon Souls 2. They're not working on it, and they said nor are they even planning on doing Demon Souls 2. In my eyes, I think, you know, you probably should, you know, take advantage of it, improve upon the game what you can, you know, get, I mean, because everyone really loved that game. But, you know, to a lot of fans are disappointed that they aren't even planning on doing the second one. And that's pretty much it for this week, you know. Uh, one really big story about the Insomniac thing. Uh, check out my game music videos. Make sure you guys leave your comments, let me know uh, what you think 
of any of these stories. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next week. All right? Peace.